So for our intermediate foot routine, we'll be starting with deep rocking. And this is where you're on your hands and knees with your hands out right in front of you. And you're rocking back and forth like so, as deep as you can into the bottom of the position and then as far forward and as straight as you can at the top. So you're trying to get deep knee and hip flexion at the bottom and full knee and hip extension at the top. And you should feel this stretching your toes quite significantly and also you are pushing off your toes as you move into the top position. So both strengthening and mobilizing your feet and toes. So working on this for a total of one minute and then you'll be moving on to toe piano. So toe piano is a more advanced version of the toe lifts where you are lifting all your toes up at once and then slowly lowering from your pinky toe in through to your big toe, trying to get the toes to touch the ground individually. So lift all of them up, slowly splay them down, putting each toe individually down onto the ground until you get your big toe and then reversing in the opposite direction. So big toes up, then moving all the way out to your pinky toes. So this is quite a challenge for dexterity and coordination and can feel almost impossible at first, but keep at it and over time with practice, you will be able to achieve this. Having more toe mobility also helps, which is why we do it straight after the deep rocking. So again, you'll be working for one minute on this and then moving on to a hacky clock face. So a hacky clock face is basically with a hacky sack or if you don't have one, then you can use a balled up pair of socks. You're gripping it with one foot and placing it as far forward as you can in the 12 o'clock direction and then bringing it back. Then out as far as you can to the three o'clock direction, bringing it back and then back as far as you can to the six o'clock direction and bringing it back. And then from there, you're rotating behind your leg to the nine o'clock direction like so, and then bringing it back. So this is a great place to start, just 12, three, six, nine, because the full clock face would be too challenging at first for most people. But over time, you can build up to a full clock face. It does just take longer and you'll find is much more of an intense workout on the feet. So you're getting both stability demands on the stance leg and some mobility demands as well because you have to move your knee over your toe like that. So great for the ankle function. And you're also getting the dexterity demands on the other foot with having to pick up the hacky sack or the ball of socks. So working for one minute on each side with this drill for as many reps as you can, but you do want to be doing each rep with as much control as possible. Then you can move on to the last exercise for the routine, which is a flexion stretch. So placing your foot down like this in a pointed position and stretching out the front of your foot and ankle. And it can really help to have some mats or something soft down like a cushion so that it's not so harsh on the top of your foot. And then just angling your foot in different directions and also you can bend your knee forward like so and try to straighten at the top and just be your own guide with this one. Tune into how your body's responding. You don't have to stretch as far as you can see in the video, but just work within your own limitations and then gradually build up over time. So working for one minute on one foot and then swapping to the other foot to repeat the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> 